In case you are struggling with sexual immorality, you find it very hard to deal with yourself when it comes to the issue of women. You sleep around with almost every woman you come across. Then you need to watch this video till the end because I'll be sharing with you two tips on the things you need to do for you to be able to overcome sexual immorality. If this is your first time of watching our video, try as much as possible to follow us, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video and share with everyone that you need to share this video with. God bless you. The number one tip is you need to see every woman as the same. This first tip is only applicable to married men and not the singles. What do I mean by seeing every woman as the same? The major reason why men cheat is because they see women differently. And this is one of the major reasons why most men end up cheating. Because they feel this woman is more intelligent than their wife. That could be the basis to why they will cheat. Because they feel this woman is more endowed than their wife. That can be the basis to why another man will cheat. Can, another man can feel because this woman is more outspoken. This woman is more bold. This woman can speak well. That can be basis to why men cheat. But if you are able to see every woman as the same, regardless of what you see that is different in other people that your wife does not have, even if your wife cannot do those things they are doing, as long as you can just see them like, okay, my wife cannot do this thing, but even if I choose to cheat on this person, because of the things they can do it is still the same thing because regardless of how their body shape is regardless of how their face looks regardless of how intelligent they are the same thing you will get if you have sex with your wife is the same thing you will get if you have sex with them that is the fact so the moment you can just make up your mind and see every woman as the same it will make it very easy for you to overcome sexual immorality either you are single or you are married this second tip is for you and what you need to do is for you to ask god for help regardless of how self-control you are regardless of how much you are dealing with yourself you need to still ask god for help the bible says we should ask and it shall be given unto us so it is very much important that we ask god for help for us to be able to deal with sexual immorality and in some cases, it may not even be that it is your own problem. It can be the problem of the opposite sex. You know, it is my prayer for you that the Lord will continue to help you so that you not be a victim of sexual immorality.